a few weeks ago, it was absolutely expected that the far right was going to win. And the center and the far left made a whole bunch of changes, largely dumping some less popular candidates in order to see to it that this didn't happen. All right, all right, all right. How are we all tonight? How are we doing? Can we hear everything? Feeling good tonight. Hey, Estelle. Hey, Palm Dead. Hey, Pippa. Hey, Zana Grills. Hey, Titan. A big tired? Yeah, me too. I'm very big tired. A bit. A big work too. Actually, my family has COVID making the rounds throughout the households. I have thus far avoided all COVID for four years, and I, I have a sneaking suspicion my luck may have run out. So, yeah. Feeling a little hoarse. Probably going to have to take a test tomorrow morning if I don't clear up. That's probably not good. So, it was kind of a big day. Uh, France. France, there was some unexpected, uh, unexpected election shenanigans. Actually, kind of expected election shenanigans. That's not entirely fair. Uh, the, the far left party in France won. Um, and I've seen some absolutely wild cope from all kinds of people on the internet. Wick, wick, cord ish adjacent included. Uh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic cope. Like, ah, oh, the left is now the center, and Ronald Reagan would have been on the left. It's been quite the day for all of that. Uh, so I, I don't want to go through the entire AP Live blog thing because it's long and there is a, a considerable amount of information there. But I do I do want to talk about some of this because a few weeks ago it was absolutely expected, absolutely expected that uh, the far right was going to win. And the center and the far left made a whole bunch of changes, largely dumping some less popular candidates in order to see to it that this didn't happen. And so the result was that the leftists win most seats, but they do not win an out outright parliamentary majority. So... This is a little bit about what might happen. Our country is facing an unprecedented political situation and it's preparing to welcome the world in a few weeks. That would be referring to the Summer Olympics. That's from Prime Minister Gabriel Attal, who plans to offer his resignation on Monday. Weak and Macron could seek a deal with the moderate left to create a joint government, but French has, France has no tradition of this kind of arrangement. A deal could take the form of a loose and formal alliance that would likely be fragile. And already, leaders of the leftist New Popular Front are pushing Macron to give their alliance the first chance to form a government and propose a prime minister to share power with him. If he can't make a deal, Macron could name a government of experts unaffiliated with political parties to handle the day-to-day -day work of keeping one of Europe's largest countries running. But that would require parliamentary approval and the first session with the new members of the 577th Assembly is July 18th. Meanwhile, no clear figure has emerged as a possible prime minister. Macron's office said he would wait for the new National Assembly to take shape before taking the necessary decisions. So this is this was a good thing, I think, overall for France. Um, Marie Le, Marine Le Pen is is well, uh, he is he's a Russian plant. Like he's a tumbleweed, guys. Uh, it would not have been good for France, the EU, or NATO. So this is overall a pretty good thing. Um, however,
However, there is still no clear, uh, there still is, is still no clear, uh, path forward for France. And France is one of those countries that has a very volatile system of democracy where they kind of implode a little bit every time they do this. So this will certainly be something to look forward to next week. Uh, as it starts to take shape. And the other part I want to do to this, and then we'll get into what a fault is. It's not going to be a long thing tonight. Although with what a fault is, you never know. There was a warning from... What's her face? Warning from the pen. All right, leader Marine Le Pen says France will be totally deadlocked with three groups of similar size in the National Assembly and none with a majority. But she says her National Rally Party will be in a position to have a majority maybe in a year. Sunday's events have been a jolt for the party that hours ago seemed poised to make history by putting the far right in power for the first time since World War II. I feel like if you're being compared to Vichy France, you're not in a good place. Like, you might have made several wrong turns. It's probably time to go home and rethink your life. Meanwhile, Le Pen is expected to run for president again in 2027. Macron can't run again, but he's vowed to stay in office until the end of his term. So this isn't over. And I, I want to bring this up because we have been having lots of discussions lately everywhere about the enduring fact that you have to continue to guard against the concept of authoritarianism. And, and people get frustrated with this. And it's true. Uh, it is frustrating. It's, it's very frustrating to have to, to have to guard against something that's so obviously wrong all the time. But the alternative is to let them win. And we know where that leads. We know that that's not good for people. So I, I kind of, I guess, my point to everyone, much of this audience is American and much of this audience is Canadian. I wonder how that happened. I know how that happened. I don't need to be told. Uh, that are concerned about the upcoming election, um, principally the American election. My, my, my advice is always going to be no one who ever, ever, ever ran office occupied it has ever given a flying crap about non-voters oh we have mexico now we're, we're we're getting exceedingly close to north america we just got to collect the rest of central america uh no one's ever given a flying crap about non-voters if you want your issues taken seriously you have to participate and this election is a good example of that not like the far left eschewed electoralism in France. It's not like they decided to s s uh, hold their breath and 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 uh, try to win purely. They they recognized the system they were in and they participated. They made sacrifices and they made uh, choices and it brought them out ahead. And they made those choices not because it guaranteed a win or the or the uh, absolute victory of their ideals. They made those choices because the alternative was unthinkably bad. So yeah, things don't look good right now and here in the United States. Um, it, it's, it's looking like Biden might get washed out. Biden's not the only one running. There are Congress people running. There are senators running. And you have your own local issues, school boards, town governments. Participate in those things. The only way you lose is when you don't participate. It's just really, it's just really that simple. This is, this is something to watch. This is something to look for, for, but it's also a highlight for the victory of the concept of participating in your society in the way that it exists. You can want to make a better society. That's something we, I think most of us all share. But, but you should participate. 
because you don't get to have a seat at the table if you don't participate. <clears throat> and that's all I'm going to preach at you tonight. It wasn't very long. But was it was hopefully useful. <clears throat>